The Ferrari SF24 featured a pull rod rear suspension, with a tie rod instead of a strut. Rumors about an imminent switch to a push rod rear suspension have been very persistent regarding the Maranello team's new single seater for the 2025 Formula One Championship. According to various reports, the 677 project will essentially overturn the suspension layouts on both axles with new kinematics. These predictions are quite peculiar and in all likelihood misinterpret Frederick Vasseur's recent comments on the Ferrari. Speculation suggested a shift to a pushrod rear suspension between 2023 and 2024, which ultimately did not happen. Italian aerodynamicist Enrico Cardile at the time explained simply why it was not adopted. This makes it a good moment to delve deeper into what the former technical director asserted almost one year ago. First, let's start with a fundamental concept. Switching to a rear pushrod suspension is an advantage, but not as significant as one might think. It is not enough to merely replace a tie rod with a strut to exaggerate the concept. The benefit lies in achieving a cleaner airflow toward the rear, as the internal components are arranged higher, allowing for a slimmer lower section. Already with the SF24, Ferrari spent considerable resources in order to achieve a compromise between the two layouts, with excellent results. The technical agreement was reached by reorganizing the components under the car's bodywork, enabling them to function differently compared to the past. Furthermore, resizing these components as a whole made it possible to slim down the lower rear section. However, the tie rod remained, which still slightly disrupted the airflow in that specific area of the car. It should be noted that Mercedes also switched to a pushrod rear suspension during the 2024 Formula One racing campaign. For several months, this change caused various adaptation issues. It was a suspension adjustment tested on track that found its proper operational point over time. This suspension modification will also feature on the W16 single-seater. Returning to Ferrari, evaluations conducted at the factory during the past season did not reveal a significant advantage in abandoning the pull-rod rear suspension to justify the added weight and reduced compliance. Everything ties into the functioning of the floor, which, to operate within its optimal window, depends heavily on the rear suspension. Ensuring a certain conformity between these two elements is essential, and inevitably brings several advantages. By compliance, we mean the suspension system's ability to deform under load. This deformation is crucial in determining the accuracy of the aerodynamic map. It is also true that, with the updated wind tunnel, Ferrari's development work has appeared more consistent since the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Unfortunately, the six races lost during the season due to technical issues weighed heavily, and for this reason, just as with the front suspension, switching to an entirely new suspension system would be a significant gamble for the Marinello team in the 2025 Formula One campaign. If the Ferrari engineers and technicians had decided to install a pushrod rear suspension, it would mean that the way the internal elements are activated would change even if the kinematics could remain similar, with the upper and lower wishbones possibly retaining the same shape. What could change in this case is the method of operating the third element, which regulates ride height, a critical parameter for the current ground effect cars. It is by no means certain that on February 19th we might see some tweaks to the layout of the overlapping wishbones. If the goal is to recover some of the traction lost in 2023, it is necessary to achieve better ground contact and maintain it for a greater percentage of time during the acceleration phase. To achieve such a result, adjustments are made to the layout of the overlapping wishbones. This is done by making small changes to the arrangement of the forearms, which can lead to significant differences in on-track behavior. A good compromise between compliance and suspension rigidity must always be found to achieve optimal floor dynamics. Furthermore, it is also possible to ensure that the bars used to achieve a good setup are less rigid by default. This aspect is not necessarily tied to the use of a pushrod system. Ferrari could make several mechanical adjustments without overhauling the entire setup. This is why we do not expect a radical change, either in terms of the layout or the kinematics. It seems more likely that several refinements have been made to adjust both areas related to the rear suspension. These changes might not be immediately visible to the naked eye, but are based on the technical understanding gathered in 2024, a move to optimize the performance of the new floor. This could be what Frederick Vasseur meant when he stated that only 1% of the Ferrari SF24's components would remain unchanged in 2025. With the start of the new year, 2024 is left definitively behind to fully focus on the new Formula One season. 
January is that time of year when the first cars return to the track, the first news about teams' car projects begins to circulate, and predictions start to take shape. For everyone, the favorites of the 2025 season are Charles Leclerc and Ferrari. After the end of the 2024 season and the blow dealt by McLaren, the Marinello team is betting everything on the new year, the last under the current regulations. Team principal Frederick Vasseur himself has announced that the 677 will be an entirely new project. The focus won't be on the 2026 regulations, but rather on making the most of these cars, which have now reached the limits of their development. Moreover, Ferrari will benefit from a new addition seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. With this, the 2025 season is shaping up to be one of the most exciting and fiercely contested Formula One seasons in recent years. Four teams will vie for the two world titles, McLaren, Ferrari, Red Bull, and Mercedes. McLaren will aim to confirm and improve on last season's performance, Ferrari will seek to return to where it belongs. Red Bull won't accept defeat, and Mercedes must rebound after three rather disappointing years. However, not all these teams will be able to rely on a strong and experienced lineup. On this front, the best positioned teams are McLaren and Ferrari. Red Bull and Mercedes, barring surprises, will each have only one experienced driver, Max Verstappen for Red Bull and George Russell for Mercedes. Liam Lawson and Kimi Antonelli, being rookies, will need to use this first year to adapt to their new teams and the fastest cars in the world. But most importantly, excitement around Lewis Hamilton's entry into Ferrari continues to grow as his debut with the Marinello team approaches. This marks a pivotal moment in his career, as the British driver prepares to embark on a new phase with Formula One's most iconic team, aiming for an eighth world title that would crown an extraordinary career. The combination of Lewis Hamilton and Ferrari promises to be one of motorsport's most captivating stories. The seven-time F1 world champion will join a team with a uniquely rich winning tradition. Despite the evident enthusiasm surrounding this alliance, Ferrari team principal Frederick Vasseur has emphasized the importance of staying focused on preparations for the new Formula One season. Fred Vasseur told Sky F1 that there was great excitement worldwide and that even the mechanics were undoubtedly full of energy. The French manager added that it was always an honor to have someone who had won seven world titles behind the wheel. Lewis Hamilton will soon have the chance to get behind the wheel of a Ferrari before the official preseason testing session at the Bahrain International Circuit that will kick off the new championship. The moment will undoubtedly be thrilling especially considering that the Britty driver has waited over 20 years for this day. With Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton as teammates, Scuderia Ferrari is ready to write a new chapter in its glorious history, striving for the long-awaited triumph that has eluded them for far too long.